Look, a 1-1 draw to end the season. How do you summarise that match? Uh, tough match, to be fair. Uh, Kilmarnock came here and then they lay down, even though it was the kind of last game of the season. We knew we wanted to give our home fans something to cheer about in the game and uh, probably could have went away with it with a few more penalties, I think. But um, nah, we were probably disappointed with the draw, but listen, the fans were brilliant throughout the game and kind of pushed us on to keep trying to get the goal. Uh, and then lucky enough we didn't get there in the end. Do you think we were a wee bit slow to start the game today? I think so. I think in a, in a game like this where both teams kind of know there's nothing they can really change, it's always hard to, to motiv motivate yourself up and get things going. But um, I thought the more the game kind of went on, we, we pushed and pushed and, and kind of the motivation came. So um, uh, the boys eventually got up for it and, and got going. I know you are your harshest critic, but Looking at the season as a whole, you must be really pleased with how it's gone. Of course, I mean, it's uh, it's hard to kind of put in a word how good the season's been, personally anyway. Um, the boys have been terrific as well, Every, everybody in there, for boys that don't start to boys that are coming on, boys on the stand, everybody pushes each other in training, it's been amazing. Manager sends that message every day, so, but as you said, I'm myself's harshest, harshest cricket, critic in a way. I, score every goal I can get an opportunity of and, and sadly I didn't do that at the very end. The team's proven everyone wrong this season, I think we're the favourites to go down at the start. That, did that give the players real motivation this season? I think it was, I, 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 don't, think, I don't think a lot of us really thought about it um, like that. I think it was once everybody, we'd played everybody once, we knew they were really not getting into fear. We've, we're a good enough side, we're good enough players that can push every single team in every game. Um, Obviously, some games you're not going to do that that well if you're the new team coming up because you've got to learn stuff and whatever. And I'm sure uh, next year we'll have learnt a lot and, and push ourselves even higher. Are you going to get some time off over the holidays? I am going to go away to uh, Greece and practice my penalties. <laughs> and then going into the new season, will you be hungrier than ever? Ever? Uh, yeah, I mean, this just shows what a wee bit of success can do to a club like the size of this. Um, the fan, as I said there, the fans were amazing at the end. and. Uh, I'm sure next year they'll be they're cheating even more. Tony, a 1-1 draw to end the season. Your thoughts on today's game? I thought it was a very much a kind of game of two halves, if you like. You know, I thought we were a wee bit safe, like we've been a few times in this season uh, in the first half when I had a chat with him at half time. I wanted to come out and be braver, and I thought we were that in the second half, and I thought we were, we were the better team. You know, and, and on another day, you know, you score a penalty kick and you get your rewards for it. But you know, please with a level of performance. But I think. It's more overall looking at the season and the, the success we've had this season, so that's my that's my overriding feeling. It was good to, to end the season in a high. I know it could have been a win, but you wanted to go into that summer break without a defeat, didn't you? Absolutely, yeah. It'd been great to get the win, and we should have. I think our play in the second half merited us getting the win. And listen, looks the most reliable. We've been fantastic for me all season. So, but it was just important we didn't lose. You know, I did want to win the game. Of course, I did. But I think it's much more a focus on what we achieved. I think the big celebration was up at Aberdeen that day when we did the job and we made sure that you know, against all the odds, we got that top six berth. And that's what you reflect in the season, and that's what I've said to the players there. It's a huge achievement. Everybody had us written off as being the team that got relegated straight away. And as a group, it motivated us. It made us, you know, really focused on our task. And, and listen, every day the players have worked their socks off. The staff have facilitated everything, and and it's been a really successful season. And I think the players need to go away now with that feeling of uh, achievement and enjoy their summer, enjoy their break. Look, is his harshest critic, but. Although he's disappointed about missing the penalty, he's been brilliant for us this season, hasn't he? He's been outstanding. You know, you normally don't like singling players out, but his contribution this season, I think that's his 10th goal. Should have been his 11th. I'm just giving him a bit of stick there. Should have been his 11th and a win bonus. But, uh, but listen, he's been brilliant. And I, I, as I say, singling out players, I think the whole squad, you know, I've just said that to them. The others, there's boys, you know, that maybe don't get the recognition, but they're not playing because there's good players ahead of them, but they're still training well every day. They're still getting their shoulder to the wheel for the team, you know, and, and they deserve a lot of credit as well. So I think overall it's the team that deserve all the credit and should be feeling that sense of achievement. A nice moment at the end with the, the families going round and applauding the fans and that's what it's all about. That is it? what it's all about, you know, and that's what I said when I first came into the job, what I wanted to do is I wanted to put a team in the pitch that, you know, I wanted them to have an identity, I wanted them to have a playing style and something that appealed to the Dundee support. And I think you've seen by the reaction of the fans today, the, the appreciation towards the players that that's what we've done. And as manager, that, that gives me the greatest deal of satisfaction. Yes, 
objectives of staying up, objectives of getting to the top six. But to, to look at that, you know, in my first year as management and see the synergy between the players and the fans, it makes me very proud. And uh, it's something that when I get time, when I settle down, <laughs> I'll enjoy that. And that's the biggest thing for me. You'll want to thank the fans for everything this season, won't you? They've been brilliant and that's why we took the time to get around them all and hopefully clap them all individually to let them know. Home and away, they've been fantastic for us. And, and I just hope we're now building a platform. You know, there's a lot of positive stuff going on at the football club. And I hope that's a platform this year that we can kick on. I think the group of players that we've got, they'll go away. I want them to go away and enjoy their summer, having achieved. But I want them to come back and realise how they achieved. And hopefully it gives us that platform to really go about our work and, and try and maintain standards. And are you going to get some time off in the summer? Uh, I wouldn't think so. Uh, my wife wants me to lose my phone, but I don't know if there's a chance of doing that. But I'll, I'll try. When the final whistle goes, that's when I think you can get the opportunity to reflect more than going hard, to reflect in the season. And, and there's a lot to be positive about there and a lot. Still, you know, we've done really well, but still I'm, I'm always looking for that improvement and I want the players that I work with to look for that improvement and the staff. And we'll gather again on June 17th and be ready for the season coming.